Hey guys, Mars Ningen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and today we have quite a lot of news that has been confirmed by Kawhi on Twitter after the small data download that popped up on Global a little while ago. I was expecting a news update last night but it didn't come um, so we should officially see all of this stuff in the news tonight. So first of all we're going to talk about the Christmas tickets only because we don't really have a lot of information. Um, but it seems like a secondary ticket that we didn't know about has been added into the files, uh, the premium Christmas ticket. Um, so as it says here, it's a different one from the one we currently have, which is this second one, and it will be a Pilaf Trove ticket. Now, obviously I don't know how Kawhi gets his information. Um, obviously these are not legitimately his tickets, but the fact that there are a numerous quantity on this picture makes me think that it's not going to be one of those like one ticket like the full power freezer where you could buy one ticket for a 20 unit multi um, it looks like it's going to be potentially multiple packs of multiple tickets but again we don't actually know the details on that but that's quite exciting um, the pilaf trove can be hit and miss but they very often do have some good deals um, obviously I'll cover more of the details when we actually know them and then of course the normal tickets which so far if you've done all the missions from part one everyone should have three of these um, and of course as of yet we still don't know how to get any more so just a very quick mention of that not really enough information for its own video so then we go on to some confirmation of some stuff that is coming tomorrow so at time of recording it's like 24 hours away um, so LRK and Khalifa we kind of knew about anyway and with them comes the um, STR Kale and the Tech Khalifla. We'll look at all of them. I have all the tabs up here. And then the revamped story event with the new Gohan, uh, which is the only thing that has actually been in the news lately. So, loads of new stuff is going to drop, but like I said, we'll get the official thing tonight. And then, interestingly, um, from the data download, it now seems that the next EZA for Global is finally going to be Tech golden freezer so lots of interesting stuff coming obviously plenty more news to come uh, which we should get later on so that's just the main page so LR Kale and Khalifla we don't really need to go over them hugely I'll probably do a separate video once we know what their banner is about whether I think you should summon or not um, you know you've heard the memes regardless of what you think of Kale and Khalifla as characters um, LR Kale and Khalifla is the best card in the game as long as their passive is fully activated so you have to have the right allies on your team and you have to be facing universe survival saga or pure saiyans enemies if all of those are activated they are the best unit in the game um if they're not there's definitely an argument for the go bros but fully active full passive built up best unit in the game so we know that they are coming then of course we are getting the tech khalifla so she infinitely stacks attack and defense, which is really good. Um, she's a universe six and Peppy Gals leader, which is, I guess, could be useful for some people. Um, obviously, if you didn't get the hit, we have had some decent universe six units added uh, with the story event. But then the reason why she's so good um, is she evades enemies' attacks when there is a universe survival saga or pure Saiyans enemy. So notice it doesn't say high chance, great chance. It just says evades enemies attack so that is a 100 percent chance to dodge when there's a universe survival saga or pure sans category enemy so if you take her into universe survival saga super battle road she can't be touched so <laughs> that's pretty decent and um, then of course she does have a built-in dodge chance uh, if you're not facing those enemies but that's not that high uh, 6% per Universe 6 or Peppy Girl's ally on the team. Um, so that means even if you're not using her against a specific enemy, she can still have some dodge chance built in. And then she has a pretty basic attack and defense 60%. So she's not terrible by any means, but in this, in this particular scenario, she is uh, essentially invincible. Um, I remember Truth has used her in the AGL Broly EZA, the movie The Wrathful Broly. Um, because he's a pure saiyan so she can't be hit by him so she's very interesting then of course we have the str kale that comes alongside her um, same leader skill again also infinitely stacks attack and defense so two more units very good for the goku event 
Um, obviously, Khalifa won't be able to dodge against MUI at the end, but they do stack their stats, so she should have quite high defense by then. Um, then she also gets attack and defense 60%, and she gets an additional 10% attack per Pure Saiyans or Peppy Girls category ally on the team. And then she gets an additional super attack. So it's the same like um, restrictions as Khalifa for her dodging, where it's a guaranteed additional super attack if there's a Universal Elf Saga or Pure Saiyans category enemy. So obviously, again, in the Legendary Goku event, not only does she stack her stats for the whole event, but she gets an automatic super attack. I guess technically it won't count until you get to the actual Ultra Instinct phase because none of his other forms would be considered... Oh no, what am I saying? Of course, he's a pure Saiyan. For the Universe Survival Saga, I was going to say, he'll only count from Ultra Instinct. But of course, duh, Goku is a pure Saiyan. So she'll get a guaranteed additional super attack throughout the entire Legendary Goku event, which of course just helps stack her stats even faster. So that's really good. Um, then let's have a quick look at... This is the free-to-play Gohan. Um, he will awaken from the old version... Um, and then the new version is the one that will drop from the event. I think it mentions this in the news that you'll no longer be able to farm the old version, kind of like they did when they updated the AGL Bardock that awakened into Great 8 Bardock. Um, he's okay. The weird thing is, like, this awakening, if we look here, like, look how long ago this was. This is like eight months ago on JP, and even then, like, when he got his awakening on JP, he was an okay free to play option. And now that it's been like eight months, it, it really, this guy really, like, I don't think anyone would be excited for him, even if you are free to play. I don't, I don't know. So he does supreme damage, lowers defense, key two, attack and defense 40%. Then he gets an additional two key, 30% attack and defense when facing two or more enemies. And then an additional two key and 30% when there is a movie boss's enemy. An additional two key and 30% when there's a time traveler's enemy. So interestingly, there is no like Bojack Dokon event. If we ever get a Bojack Dokon fest, then this guy would be really, really good on that event because obviously Bojack is movie bosses and time travelers. Um, I see what they did with how they built this unit because obviously this Gohan uh, from the Bojack movie, when he awakens to Super Saiyan 2, he immediately annihilates all of the remaining Bojack minions, which is where this, when facing two or more enemies, comes from. And then of course Bojack is a movie boss and time traveler. So. It's going to be very rare that you'll have his full passive active in pretty much any event in the game. Um, so yeah, he's a bit of a weird card. He's got decent links, um, but yeah, he's. I don't think anyone's going to be super excited for him. I definitely wouldn't recommend using orbs on him. Unless, of course, you are fully free to play, or I know a lot of people are a big fan of the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the Bojack movie. I am as well, the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the orange gi, but... I probably won't be wasting orbs on him. And then of course the main event himself, the one that we've been waiting all this time for. So we've got Tech Golden Freezer, he used to have 70% damage mitigation and attack 70% when HP is 50% or above. I mentioned this in my Movie Bosses No Items run. This means that this unit, as I'm sure you know by now from using him yourself, if you are below 50% HP at the start of the turn, this unit is almost completely useless because he gets no attack boost. He doesn't get his damage mitigation and he has no defense in his passive, which is why I ended up using the AGL one for my movie bosses run, just because his damage mitigation was higher overall. And um, I ended up giving him a load of dodge uh, back in the day. So now that he Extreme Z awakens, obviously we know the leader skill, this is what all of the uh, old school demigod leads have been getting 120% three key, which is nice. Uh, immense damage massively lowers defense. But now he gets 80% attack as standard, so regardless of your HP, 80% attack. Then his damage mitigation is now 80% instead of 70 when HP is 50% or more. And then if you're below 50% HP, he now gets 50% damage reduction and an additional 50% attack. So his attack is actually going to be quite high when you're below 50 and you still are able to mitigate some damage. So I'm sure... Plenty of you out there will know that situation where you're in Super Battle Road, you uh, start the turn on just under 50% health, and you have to really worry about where you're going to put this guy in the rotation. So now you don't need to worry about that. 50% damage mitigation is still really good. For those of you who've seen videos or used him yourself, this is the damage mitigation that Tapion has, and he's very, very good in Super Battle Road. 
and then of course he gets an additional attack boost as well. So I'm not going to go over the full details of his EZA event, it is a standard 30 stage EZA but I will cover that in another video since I always do the uh, team building guides for EZAs. Um, so I'll go over that in a separate video. So finally we are getting this man. Um, of course typically right after I struggled to finally complete the movie bosses no item run on global but he's going to be very very useful for the transformation boost runs uh, also you can use him on full power transformation boost is now going to have the incredibly powerful both defensively and offensively rotation of easy a golden freezer and easy agent ember uh, that rotation on super battle road will be absolutely ridiculous so yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. What are you most excited about? Are you summoning for LRK and Khalifla? I'm sure most people are going to be super hyped for the Tech Golden Freezer. Um, he used to be on a lot of banners back in the day, so I have had him rainbowed for quite some time. I think I also have a second copy spare ready for his EZA, but no idea what SA level he's at at the moment. But yeah, lots of interesting stuff coming, and as I said, there'll be an official news update tonight, and I will do a brief rundown of that before I go to bed because it's that news update is at midnight for me UK time and I do have work tomorrow but I will of course drop all of those details in a video for you guys later on so make sure you are subscribed hit that bell button so YouTube will let you know when that video is up and yeah lots of interesting stuff to come so hopefully part two of the celebration I'm gonna pick things up a little bit since it has been a little bit quiet Obviously tonight we'll find out things about like special missions and stuff. So hopefully there'll be a lot more stuff to come over the next few days. So that is going to be it for the video guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.